Yeah, on Derby Day, we've got six runners. We've got um, Blues Emperor and Rami running in the mile handicap. You know, all our horses have been prepared now for Derby weekend. It's a big weekend. We want to have as many runners as we can. Those first two run in a, in a mile handicap. Things have gone well. Both have won their last start, but this is the next level because everybody wants to have their best horses running on Derby weekend. Um, but we think they have both have chances. Ground, they're after getting a bit of rain at the moment. The ground should be perfect at the Curra, um, and both will appreciate the ground. We've got Silmania runs in the five furlong Rockingham handicap. She's only a three year old. She's probably up against it against the older horses, but she's in good form and ready to go. We've got Shea running in the seven furlong Phillies handicap, um, having a first run of the year. Philly we taught a lot of last year, went off, off the boil at the second half of the season, but she goes well fresh and she could run well. And then we've got the, the old uh, stable warrior in Carry the One. He ran very well last time out, he finished third. Um, the race didn't suit him, so he runs in the listed race, the ce celebration race. Uh, tough race, he has to run his career best, but he's in good form. And again, with the, with the bit of rain around, it should suit him also. But, you know, the Curra is a very, very fair track. Um, with, with the rain that's been around, the ground should be riding on you know, really good good ground, maybe the slow side of good, but um, you know, it's, it's our big weekend to showcase Irish racing and you know, some terrific races, and it's going to be a very, very exciting weekend. The world is a small place now, and uh, the more people we get watching Irish racing and betting on Irish racing, that's what's going to be good for I I Irish racing.